what's up people in this video we're going to do this one by somebody and your addiction to women streamed live august 27th 2018 mindfulattraction.org i don't know i don't really want to look at this um i mean the his channel maybe later uh okay so yeah uh somebody asked me to do this i think it was like somebody it's like he does pick up or pick up advice or something like that anyway here we go if you guys have any other recommendations for videos or youtubers let me know any you guys need to stop man we got it. Sorry, I'm going to turn on captions from now on because some people have complained that this the videos are like hard to understand. So the addiction to women, men are too addicted to pussy, you know, and it's the addiction to pussy that makes women walk away from you. Why is that? It's because you don't give them enough space to chase. You see, you're so you want pussy so badly that when you get that text message from her that potentially could mean that she wants to have sex with you, you respond fast. It's like an addict, right? You know, someone's addicted to weed, addicted to cigarettes, oh, addicted to heroin, actually, and their dealer's texts what happens. They text back quickly. <coughs> it's because they're addicted to that. <coughs> and a lot of guys are emotionally addicted to women. So it's very hard for a guy who's addicted, who's addicted to pussy to, 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 to be patient. It's very hard for, for a man who's, who's addicted to pussy when a girl says, let's reschedule, he easily reschedules and doesn't even punish her for it. You see what I'm saying? Guys who are addicted to women, guys who are addicted to pussy will deal with the bullshit that women throw at them. And because they're dealing with the bullshit that women throw at them, most of the time when the woman throws bullshit at you because she's texting you. You see, a woman doesn't want to see how good looking you are. A woman wants to see your status. Your status is based upon how much do you want me. If you don't want me that much, if you're willing to lose me, it means that you must have other women in the background. What does it mean to be willing to, what does it mean to be willing to lose you? Being willing to lose you means doesn't mean saying fuck you, bitch, fuck you, bitch, go. It means being patient. It means her saying, let's hang out tonight. You say, no, I can't tonight. I'm busy. I have plans. Let's hang out next weekend. That kind of shit. That kind of shit. How many motherfuckers do that shit? Just tell me this. How many guys do you think tells a woman I can't hang out tonight? Or tells a woman, don't, tells a woman, let's hang out next week, not tonight. Not a lot of guys. You see, and so when it comes to women, you need strategy. You need to think as a strategy. And so if you're addicted to the pussy, you're not gonna be patient about it. You're not gonna be able to implement that strategy I talked to you guys about, about the Tinder hat, which I actually learned from Alpha Strategy. About text, text, um, messaging a girl on Tinder once a day or on, 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 on another day once a day. That type of shit means that you're not getting pussy tonight. But you know what it means? It means that What does it mean? That you're creating that anticipation. It means that you all right. Um, okay. Like, is this is creating that desire. It means that you're making them say, "Wait, why hasn't he texted me back?" You see? All right. Anyway. Um, okay. So basically, don't be desperate. I understand. Um, what's what's like? What's the problem with this? It's it's good advice. It, it is technically good advice to. Like practically speaking, like not respond right away. For example, is basically what he's saying not respond right away like figuratively okay literally and figuratively like girl texts you tries to reschedule you know don't write her back right away don't reschedule immediately because it makes you look like you have no options and you look desperate and that there's no repercussions for um misbehaving let's call it because like it's yeah fine stuff happens sometimes you have to reschedule but like in the dating world sometimes rescheduling is not really rescheduling right um so like, first of all, if you, like they used to tell us in sales, they would say, if you, if you stop like kiosk sales where you're like working on the kiosk and you go to stop somebody and you do a demo and try and sell them like on the spot, you know, they never, they don't have time to do research. It's not like a well thought out sale. They would tell us that if you, if you look good, it'll be easy to stop them. And if you stop them well, it'll be easy to do the demo. And if you do the demo well, it'll be easy to close the sale. And if you close the sale easily, then it'll be easy to upsell them, right? So like everything really starts from the beginning of like presenting yourself well. So if we want to relate this to dating, if you present yourself well, then, you know, follow it all through, you're going to get less of this like testing and like shit test. You probably will get them at some point if you go for long enough. Um, and kind of like faking it in terms of like waiting an extra long time to write them back that is kind of effective i mean it, it will work because it will make her think that you are actually like a guy who's cool and has options but the problem is that unless you nail down every single instance where you need to figuratively like wait before texting her back um eventually you are going to slip up and she's going to see that you're not actually like a really cool guy and she's gonna like she's gonna win basically she's gonna not get interested or like lose her interest so the 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 um the best way to do it is to actually have options right that's like the best way to do it like i periodically in my life i'll be very busy right and i won't i'll be very busy and i'll still kind of like try and you know date around and like talk to girls or whatever um and i won't have time to write them back when they write, when they like text me, right? They'll like text me in the morning and I'll be busy working or busy doing something. And I, I'll like check it and I'll be busy doing something. So I'll put my phone away and then I'll look at it again, like at night and I'll write them back and I'll get a response very quickly, right? 
not because I like was trying to like, you know, play these games and like make them wait before responding to them, but because I actually was busy and I had shit I needed to do. And maybe I was talking to other girls and there wasn't a lot of pressure on me to like get this one at the exact time and like get her to think and feel exactly what I wanted her to think and feel all immediately after texting me. And the, the reason that it kind of worked out like that, again, like I said, is not because I was like, you know, trying to like move all these pieces into the right position consciously. It's just because I had a busy life at the time and that in and of itself, like makes you seem more attractive because you're, it, she just thinks in her head like, okay, he's, he's too busy. Like there's other things in his life that are more worth paying attention to more than me. So like, I, I think if we were to ask him, he would probably say like, yeah, that's ideal. Like definitely have a busy life. So you're not like texting girls back immediately. Like you got to have shit going on. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess that's all really, I have to say about that. Like, and then I've had other times in my life where like, I don't have shit going on and you get a text from some girl and like, you don't have anything else to do that day. So you just, you want to write them back right away, but you have to like force yourself to like not do it because you don't want to seem desperate. You know, um, does, is this really an addiction to women though? I don't think that's, I don't think it's really an addiction to women. I think it's, um, you just don't have shit going on really. Like if, if you, if you were so busy throughout the day that you had no time to like text these people back and like call them back and, you know, respond to their messages on social media, you, there's no like extra thinking involved. You know what I mean? You just have to be busy enough so that it just kind of happens. I don't say it happens naturally. It happens automatically. You want to get to the point where woman says, you want to get to the point where woman says, why don't you schedule shit with me? You want to get to the point where woman says, why don't you hit, why do I, why am I the only one hitting you up? But you cannot get to that point if you're too fucking addicted to pussy, man. You see, you're too addicted to pussy. It's just how it is. When you're too addicted to pussy, when you see that woman, you're like, damn, you looking fine. You give her all the compliments, you know, when she's in your bed, you keep complimenting her, and without knowing it, you're validating her. You gotta end that addiction. You gotta, you, 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 or at least fake it till you make it. At least fake it till you make it. So, what are the symptoms of addiction? You can't, your thoughts revolve around what you value. You see, your emotions evolve around, revolve around whatever you value most. So if you value pussy, when you get that text, you cannot feel, you cannot feel, you, you cannot help but text back fast. Unless you have another chick next to you, you can't help but text back fast. You see, it's that addiction. So you gotta, you gotta find something. You gotta focus on your life. You gotta focus on your life and on your goals. If you, if women are too important, if women are the number one priority to you, let me tell you something. The only reason why that's a good thing is because it, it makes it helps you focus your energy and it helps you focus on game. That's nothing wrong with that. If you have any addiction to pussy, you can be directed to to work in the game, and that's really good. The problem though is that it's on the next stage is when you game, you want to, you want to use that addiction to women to compel you to game, but you gotta drop that shit as soon as, as soon as you get her number. You gotta drop that shit because that addiction, the girl is gonna contaminate all your text messages. When she cancels on you, you're gonna feel. You, Listen, an addict, if, if you tell an addict who's a never addict, I can't bring you heroin tonight, you know what he's gonna say? He's gonna get fucking mad. You see? Tell somebody who's not an addict, I can't bring you heroin tonight, what are you gonna say? Okay, cool. I don't care. Tell, tell the guy who's addicted to women. A guy, um, cancel, cancel the date on a guy who's addicted to pussy. What happens? That guy's gonna be fucking angry, man. You see? So you gotta change that mentality. Women don't give a fuck about you. Yo, women don't give a fuck about you, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Women don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. You know, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be too polite. Fuck that, man. Women don't, women don't give a fuck, man. I'm telling you. They don't care about you. That's the truth. You know, if they think you're, if they think you're a loser, they're gonna drop you and stop texting you. They're not even gonna have the common courtesy to say stop texting me. They, they'll just stop texting you. They don't, even, they don't even have the common courtesy to, to tell you, don't hit me up. They'll just keep you as a mobile. That's some fucked up shit, man. And when it comes to women... Um, she's not wrong. Well, okay, I think he is wrong on one thing, which is that um, this whole problem comes from quote-unquote addiction to pussy, which is not... Or like, what? because what does that mean, really? Like, addiction to, like, sex addiction? Is that is that what... That's not what he means, you know what I mean? That That's not... I really don't think that's what it is. I don't think that's what he's implying. I think what he's really implying that he's like kind of like shortening to like addicted to pussy is um, addicted to the potential validation of girls who you're sexually attracted to, I think. Uh, it's not the best definition, but like it's not the actual sex itself really is what it is. I, I don't think. Um, and that's that's not really the issue. I, it, what and again, like to be fair, like this entire problem would be solved if you had more options, right? This is why we heard what he said just now. Like we don't give a fuck about you. We don't care about you. Blah blah blah. That's that's not. I mean, that's kind of true. But the reason that it's true is because women have so many options, and they have so many options all the time. You know, if you're like a decent looking girl, you have tons of options. Like like not all guys, but like a, a lot of them, most of them. Um they're interested, you know? So, okay, you meet some new guy and you give him your number because you had a good time in the like five minute conversation that you had with him and you text him a little bit and you're so busy because you're like, you know, if, and forget about it, if they're on dating apps also, God, they're, I made a fake dating profile for a girl once on Tinder. I left it open for an hour and I had 99 likes. I didn't even put a picture up. I didn't put a profile. I don't think. 
Um, I just like put a name and, and no pictures, nothing. Like immediately fucking 100 likes. So add that to like all the attention she's getting in public, at work, like her friends from back in the day, like any hobbies she has, the gym, whatever. Like they're talking to tons of people where they could potentially be talking to people very quickly. Whereas for a guy, like it's very common for you to live like pretty lonely lifestyle unless you're one of the few who has like an active social life, which is not very common, I feel, in America. Um, it just isn't. Like who who has a social life outside of work or who even has hobbies really that's not like video games or TV or the gym is that even a hobby like you go to the gym like put your headphones in and you like lift weights and put them back down and casually say hi to people here and there um you know it's it's not uh you, you just don't have a lot of options as a guy unless you're out there proactively like talking to them so to that point what he said about like don't be addicted to pussy don't go after these girls you need to focus on your life instead i uh, i think I, I don't think that's true I think there's a lot, I think most guys, they actually will focus on their, their life, like the like on paper qualities that will make them a quote unquote good product, let's say. They'll get a good job, they'll get a good education, they'll go like open a business, they'll try and make all this money, they'll go to the gym, they'll lift weights, like do all this stuff to like improve the actual product that they're selling. But to use the same analogy, they're, they're not gonna do any marketing at all. They, they expect people to just come to the store and buy what they have because they like it and it looks good in the window. Um, which is working on your game, right? Like how many guys are out there working on um, making money? Fucking everybody. How many guys are out there working on fitness? You know, maybe not everybody, but a lot of guys out there like at the gym, still fucking autistic, like social weirdos because they don't put anywhere near the same amount of effort into their social life or working on their social skills or even just like approaching women anywhere or even just making casual conversation with strangers anywhere. It just doesn't happen. Um, so I, I would say, not that anybody asked my opinion, uh, but I would say like the, the more importantly than working on your, your finances and your, um, your body, if you want to get girls, is to work on talking to girls is really what it is. Nobody likes to hear that, especially people who watch a video like this and your addiction to women, don't be addicted to pussy because they don't want to hear like, yeah, you have to get out there and like embarrass yourself and look like a creepy weirdo by talking to girls who probably don't want to talk to you. They don't want to hear that. They want to hear like, yeah, like fuck bitches. Like I just want to, you know, I just want to work on myself. I'm a MGTOW man. Like I want to work on my own goals. Like I don't need to talk to girls. I just want to make money and like get fit. And then maybe someday like girls will just like, want to fuck me for no reason without me having to do any work it doesn't work like that unless you're a celebrity or a musician or like it just doesn't happen for like 99.999 percent of the male population so like you you have to get out there and, and work on it which i i think he knows um but yeah it just doesn't that's not the message that he's saying you should not validate these women if they don't care about you you know they validate her means having having an addiction to women in general you know, I'm telling you, man, like, like it's, it's, it's one of those things that I remember when I was younger, I used to say, like, you know, like, be polite, be honest and stuff like that. No, 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 no. I changed, man. I, I'm noticing that you, you, you get the better results when you're living, when you're living, when you're living like a with this shit, man. You cannot give a fuck. And the best way to not give a fuck is to end that addiction to women. Now, if you say, how do I end the addiction to women? This is how you do it. You got to think long term. Okay. Think long term. Look into the future. See how this, see how patience, how patience will, will, will reward you in the long run. Think, think long term and short term. Don't just think about quick stuff. Think about getting a woman addicted to you. And that requires a long term perspective. You see? So if a woman says, let's hang out tonight, you think long term. You say, if I want to keep this woman for the next year or so, let me not hang out with her tonight. Let me sacrifice today for tomorrow. You see? And so, so the addiction to women comes because of short sightedness. Because you just want that your, your desire is going to, is, your, your desire is, is, is narrowing the scope of your vision. So you're not able to see how that, how, how that needy behavior will make you lose attraction. Because I'm telling you, man, a woman, don't, don't, don't think that having, don't think that being super attracted to women is showing how much you're attracted to her makes you like you. That's fucking bullshit. That's some, that's some TV shit, man. Women will only like you if they don't get validation from you. If women will only like you if they don't get validation from you. It's just how it is. For example, I was hanging out with a girl, um, um <laughs> I was hanging out with a girl with, a few weeks ago with a friend of mine too. And this girl was annoying the shit out of me because she was one of those girls who, she was one of those girls who, um, who, she's one of the guys, you know what I'm saying? I was like, like a month ago, she's one of the guys. It was in your city. She's one of the guys, but those, she's one of the guys. But she teases, man. You know, she teases guys. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by teasing guys? She she'll talk to you. She's like, oh my God, he's so cute, and she'll touch you. She'll make you think she likes you, and she does. And she, and she did that to my friend, where he thought she liked him. You know what I did? I like this bitch playing games. This bitch is, is flirting with people, and, 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 and only hangs out with guys and gets all the validation from guys, but doesn't give him nothing. And, and, and she's engaged. You know, so her boyfriend doesn't fucking care that, that she hangs out with a shit ton of guys. It was in Queens. I think that was in Queens. It was in Queens. And, and, and so it's kind of like that's a little fucking weird. And I bet that guy. I bet the husband. I bet the, I bet the, 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 the engaged guy doesn't like that shit. Actually, she, she's married. I bet he doesn't like that shit. But she can't. He can't do nothing about it because she's the leader of the relationship. Right. So the whole the whole time she did that. She was like, "My I was like, "Don't touch me." I was like, "Don't touch me." Like, what are you doing, man? Like, you can't touch me like that. This guy's a hundred thousand subscribers. How is this possible? <sighs> Let's see here. I just want to look at this. Like, 
She's still making videos. Kobe Bryant is dead. This is an old video, so, you know, right? This is old, 2018, a year and a half. Um, hmm, okay. I'm kind of curious as to what some of his newer videos are. I wonder if they're all like this. Um, so like to, like what I said earlier about girls not necessarily caring about blowing you off or ghosting you because they have options and you're really just like some random guy to them until she, she invests like a little bit more in your relationship, let's call it. Um, that's kind of the, that's how you want to get also as a man, you, you want to get to that level, right? If, if you want like a, a good dating life that doesn't involve three hours a day on like dating apps, like, you know, churning out new leads all the time. Um, you want to get to the point where you like have so many options as a guy that some girl who, who you don't really like know that well, um, you're not like chomping at the bit to respond to her, to make plans with her just because you have so much other stuff going on. Right. I guess it doesn't technically need to be like, you have so many other girls in your life, although that, that it kind of does need to be that at least a little bit you need to have like some options, like something going on. Uh, but it's really just being busy, I guess. Although you do like if the problem is if you don't have the girls, then you're going to put too much importance on that one girl. Um, so like in order to do that, you, you do need to kind of put yourself out there and get in situations where you might get rejected. You know, you, you need to do that. And I feel like, like this message is going to be interpreted in a way that it's like, don't put yourself in a position where you can get rejected because you're ending your addiction to women. So don't try at all because like, you know, you, you can't like make plans with her that night. That's against the rules. You have to like, wait like two weeks you know to do it or a week or a couple days or whatever where in some cases that that makes sense you you do want to do that you don't want to seem too available but like you know you also don't want to waste opportunities when she's giving you a layup you know what i mean um just don't seem too eager and and the best way to do that like i, I remember a while ago i was out on a date with this girl and like I wasn't really interested because I was going on a lot of dates and I just kind of like went on this one just, I don't know, because I planned it and I didn't want to like, I didn't want to get into the habit of like flaking on people. So I went on this date and I wasn't really interested in this girl. Um, but I, I, I didn't want to be rude and like bail on the date. So I just kind of stayed. And then by the end of the night, we both had a couple drinks and I was like, okay, fuck it. I might as well like try and kiss her. And she's super into me. And she's just like, ready to be taken away like immediately and I was kind of not that I was ambivalent like I wanted to do it of course but I, I wasn't like I didn't build it up in my mind to be this big thing because I wasn't really it wasn't I, I just had other options it wasn't crucial to me that it happened it's just like all right I already invested like a lot of time into this date might as well at least try like what I'm going to leave without trying it doesn't make any sense and that's kind of like how you want to get to that point, I, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a pro. I don't have a like a website for this kind of thing. But um, as far as the like what he said about the girls who are like very flirty, one of the guys, that's that's accurate, right? I have recently met a girl who fits that description, flirts with all the guys, is one of the guys, and like she would kind of also try to do it to me. And I I, I actually like legitimately like wasn't interested, but. I said the same thing. I was like, hands off the merchandise. Like, what are you doing? Don't touch me. Like, not like in a mean way. I was like, just joking around, like cracking jokes. And I, I could tell that the more I like pushed her away, the more interested she was. So unfortunately that kind of happens really only when you're not actually interested in the person, unless you get to the point where you just have so many options that, cause I mean, think about it. If you meet a girl who's genuinely like smoking hot, like eight and a half, nine, ten and you don't meet a lot of girls like that and she's coming on to you and like touching and flirting with you, you probably less likely to like push her away. I mean, yeah, maybe you will, but if you've got, if you meet girls like that all the time, every day or every night or every weekend, like it's, it's much easier for you to push them away because they actually have less value to you because you see them all the time. It's not like a, a rare thing or a big deal. Like she's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And I was like, yeah, don't touch me, man. I don't know you that little. You know? So the whole time I was pushing her away. When she was talking to me, I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. You know? And and, and then the whole night she just kept touching me and through the push. Like, oh, I'm so sorry, I can't stop touching me. And I was like, yo, like you 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 you're not stop touching people so much, man. Are you always like this? Do you always touch people this much, man? Especially when you don't date. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't think that's, I don't think that's cool. You shouldn't be touching people that, you know, like, especially if you have a lot of bad friends. So the whole time, she was fucking onto me the whole night because I was pushing her away. The reason was because I was a little annoyed by her because I know what she was doing. You know, I know what she was doing. Was, and so because I was like, you know what? Fuck that shit. I'm not giving this bitch any validation. I'm not even gonna try to have a conversation with her. You know, if I did talk to her, I talked to her in a way that would push her away. You see what I'm saying? And so, anyways, I, I got off the subject. And but I'm telling you, man, you gotta end that addiction, man. Like, 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 if you feel, if you're always thinking about pussy, that's good because it makes you want to gain. But you need some sort of control. And so that's why no fat. I don't agree with no fat no more because when you when you have too much fucking cum inside of you and a girl touches you, you get a fucking text fast. You get a text fast because you need to let go of that cum. You see what I'm saying? So it's always good to a woman will control you as long as you have a hard day. You know, you gotta let go of that shit. You gotta calm that out so that when you see her, she has she has nothing you need. She she has nothing that you need. You know, women love guys. Who, love guys who have hard dicks. Why? Because they can easily control them. You gotta, you gotta flush that shit out. You know, you, it's just how it is, man. It's just how it is, man. And if you're no fat, that's fine. But I bet you money, you're fucking needy shit. You know, you. It's good for game. Okay, it's good for game. It's good for, because it gets you to go out and game. You know, it's good. But it's not good in terms of giving off a value of, of high value. You know. Anyways, um, yeah. I mean, I'm just. I tried no fat for five days. And my physical escalation was over, right? And that's good, right? Especially if you have no physical escalation. So it's good as a, as a wheel to learn. But not as a way of being, motherfucker, man. You know, monk. You need to come sometimes, man. All right? Anyways, it's added to my foot attraction. Motherfuckers were saying I wasn't making no videos. So here I am, all right? Um, if you guys need one on coaching, go to my foot attraction. If you guys want to buy my, um, my online courses for women, but... Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so no fap is like... There's advantages and disadvantages. Um it will kind of lower your sex drive a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but like, you know, the problem with like masturbation is that it kills your motivation really to do anything. So you need to be mindful of that. And like, um, this guy's a good domain, mindfulattraction.org. I guess it's .org. Purchase course, how long was this course? I mean, how much is this course? Hmm. Okay, it's not actually a course. I should make a course. Let me draw you. Um, God. Uh, I signed up for Todd V's uh, three month coaching. I finally paid it off. So I will be starting that soon. Kind of unrelated. I will be starting that soon wherever I go. So that will be fun. Definitely look for that. I, I want to make more videos on like pickup and dating and stuff, but I've, I've been putting that off until I like start going through his coaching because not like my game is bad per se, but I'm by no means like master of like cold approach pickup, like not even close. <clears throat> so I just didn't feel comfortable like making videos about that, even though I'm probably better than like, I don't want to say most people, but like I have some experience. Um, I just don't feel like I'm in a position to like give advice. Although like what, what's the problem with this? It's called like whiteboard pickup, right? Which is like, you're so familiar with the theory that you can explain the theory in videos, but when it comes to like actually doing it in person, you know, you can't actually really do it. I'm not saying that's him. He is talking about like actual experiences that he's had. But I think what really separates the men from the boys is going out and practicing cold approach pickup. That's that's really like there's there's two types of people, people who really just kind of like either have the type of lifestyle or social circle that kind of just feeds them opportunities, regardless of how frequently. And there's other people who make an effort to do like X a number X number of approaches per day, or they go out X number of times per week specifically to work on their game. Like those, those are the types of people that I think you should take advice from. It's my opinion. He, he kind of sounds like that in this video. Cause he, he talks about going out to game stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like, again, I'm, I'm not saying he was doing whiteboard pickup. This is, I guess, just an explanation of like theory. Um, it's kind of like working out, right? You have you have some people that just because of whatever job they have or their lifestyle, they're going to be more fit and, and more in shape. And then you have the people that are out and going out intentionally to train their body to get a certain result. What I would like to do is, is look at pick up in the same way like similarly to how i'll go to the gym i'll like schedule a specific time or cat not like i'm fucking scheduling it in my like day timer but i'll i'll know in my head that being fit is so important to me that i'm going to you know plan whatever for a two hour block or an hour and a half or an hour or whatever it is to go to the gym and actually work out and work on this specific body part this time or this specific exercise this time um and it's like an hour or two that i blocked out every day to do that. That's, I, I want to have a similar attitude towards doing pickup where like I just set, you know, an hour or two hours to, to go out and specifically do that. Really start conversations with strangers for the purpose of like building a better social life and potentially like better dating life, depending on 
there's chemistry, whatever. Um, anyway, that is the goal of me. Okay. So who told me to do this? I don't really remember, but thank you. It was kind of interesting. I, I don't mean to like, I, I, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Um, props to him for getting a hundred thousand subscribers. <sighs> anyway, whatever. If you have any more, let me know. Peace.